This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection and service. Hello everyone, I'm Dimitri with Harakonux and in today's video we'll be taking a look at NVIDIA's DSR or Dynamic Super Resolution and uh, this lets users with NVIDIA Maxwell GPU render their game or their desktop even at a much higher resolution but downscale that rendered image at uh, to their native resolution of their display. So say you have a 1920 by 1200 monitor and what DSR allows you to do is render your game at multiple factors of your native resolution, everything from 1.2x to 4x, meaning you could be rendering a game at a much higher resolution like uh, 3840 by 2160 but downscaling it to 1080p, therefore receiving a more detailed picture, especially visible with thin elements like grass where edges are smoothed out. And we'll be taking a look at a bunch of GPUs and their potential for higher resolution rendering to give you an idea if this is something that you can try given you own one of these GPUs, starting from the GTX 960, we have the 970, the 980 and at Titan Next. So first off, to enable DSR, you must go into NVIDIA Control Panel, Manage 3D Settings, and check off all the DSR factors that you wish to experiment with. I've selected here the 1.2, 2x, and 4x of my native resolution of 1920 by 1200. The DSR smoothness slider adjusts the sharpness of the downscaled image that's by default set to 33%, and here the extremes of 0 and 100% smoothness, and I prefer to leave it at 15% for the best looking image to me when you upscale in non-even factors. And you can even see the 100% smoothness looks even softer on the edges than the native 1200p capture. And so once you select your desired DSR factors and smoothness percentage, all that's left is jump into a game and bump up that resolution as NVIDIA drivers enables this so there's no further tweaking required. And I've really been pixel peeping to see exactly what the difference is with using DSR and I'm very impressed with the amount of extra detail that you can pick up. For example, here's BF4 with native 2x and 4x DSR side by side and notice how the edges on the gun are more defined but I think it's the background elements that become more detailed, especially with the trees. Here's another view with a scope and that triangle is much sharper, along with those edges on the wood, and overall the scene looks much cleaner and detailed in the distance. Now this isn't particularly something you would fully notice with fast paced gameplay, but for games like Trine 2, where getting that extra detail for a more beautiful scenery just makes gameplay more enjoyable. And 2D games like Valiant Hearts, where DSR emphasizes the detail on the objects in the game without significantly impacting performance. StarCraft 2 looks gorgeous with 4x DSR, effectively playing in 4K, so the detail on that command center is so much more defined. If you look at the logo above the entrance bay, uh, all the edges are super smooth. Jumping into Watch Dogs and look at how much cleaner the speed limit sign becomes, along with more defined edges on the background, on the buildings, and Aiden himself, like his hair and his clothes are extra emphasized. Another example where DSR glory comes into view is Divinity Original Sin, a title that I've been playing often lately. It gets immediate detail boost for my liking. And once you try this resolution upscale for titles that you love, it will be difficult to go back to the native resolution. So you must be thinking, okay Dimitri, you've convinced us that DSR does give you the benefit of improved image performance, so the edges become smoothed out, everything much, is much crisper, much cleaner, but what does that do on your performance? And that's a little caveat with DSR because you are effectively rendering that image in 4K resolution or whoever, how many ever factors that you want to render that resolution from your native resolution and therefore it is taxing on your system. So unless you are playing uh, older titles that don't that are not very demanding, then DSR really shines through because you can still have an enjoyable experience to getting really good frame rates uh, at a higher resolution for the, the games. But if you are playing AAA titles, then DSR will be uh, kind of a, a little bit tricky because you have to have either a beefy GPU or beefy entire system in order to render everything in much higher resolutions uh, and, you know, to get the best experience out of DSR. So let's take the least powerful card out of the bunch, the GTX 960, and see how it handles 2x and 4x DSR for my uh, 2560 by 1440p display and see how much it can eat games like StarCraft 2 with 4x no problem. Same with Dota 2 where there is a significant decrease in frame rate from our native resolution but still not enough to spoil the entire gameplay. 
40 FPS is not terrible, but uh, you can lower some of the in-game settings to maintain that resolution uh, to get better frame rate. And other not too demanding games certainly benefit from the extra detail without impacting playable performance. Like Crisis 3, here's 4x DSR from 2560 by 1440, giving us effective rendered resolution of 5120 by 2880. No big deal, 60 FPS, no problem. I'm just kidding. But check it out, the quality is just insane. So say you own a 1440p display, so is DSR for you? I would say definitely try it, because you could experience a better image quality uh, with higher resolution rendering being downscaled to your native resolution. Uh, and 2560 by 1440p already looks very clean and crisp, but having the ability to upscale that 2x and have that resolution that makes things just extra cleaner and all the edges are just a little bit extra emphasized is very much appealing, but as long as your system can handle it. For example, I've been playing the Borderlands pre-sequel at 2x, no problem, from the 2560 by 1440p, which has been giving me a little bit extra detail in the game uh, because it's not too demanding and I can also tone down some of the settings like anti-aliasing uh, within the game to get the best possible frame rate. And I also would like to mention how GeForce Experience is an integral part of getting best gaming experience out of DSR, where you can select the title on your left, click the wrench tool to reveal your preferred in-game resolution that can be adjusted with your specified DSR factors with its own window, and then you can use the optimize slider below for optimization. And for many titles, optimal settings are already recognized for really seamless gaming uh, with no need for any further tweaking with DSR enabled. However, there are a few instances where DSR is not very helpful, like in Anno 2070, uh, where changing in-game resolution to 2x or even 4x DSR, so as you can see, the menus just become unreadable and you can't really do anything with the game at uh, this high uh, rendered image when it's being downscaled to your native resolution. I've also had problems with my dual screen setup where I would jump into a game, I would choose a much higher resolution, like a 4x resolution of my native display, but then as the game uh, changes the resolution, it would pop up on the second monitor instead of my primary monitor, and I would have to completely exit the game uh, and the only way I found this to work is to just disable my second monitor in order to experience uh, no buggy DSR when the resolution changes. Also, one of my games did not recognize the multiple factors that I selected in the NVIDIA control panel. Uh, this was the Wolfenstein, the new order, where after my 2560 by 1440p, there was only the 4x DSR available resolution. There was nothing in between, like the 1.5 and 2x were not available to be selected within the menu, which was a bit of a letdown because uh, at 4x from the 1440p resolution is just unplayable. Um, so I guess it's something to do with the engine of the game and whether or not it can support these high resolutions. And lastly, NVIDIA Shadowplay, which is uh, the built-in tool to record your gameplay, has been buggy with DSR, not letting me record at my aspect ratio of the monitor. So it would be recording at 16 by 10 aspect ratio on my 16 by 9 monitor, and it would be giving me 1920 by 1200 P resolution uh, of output after rendering a game at 2560 by 1440. So there's aspect ratio differences and resolution differences, whereas in Shadowplay I've set it to record in-game resolution. Uh, so maybe something NVIDIA has to go in and fix some of those bugs in order for Shadowplay to actually work properly with DSR. So the main thing to take away from this video is dynamic super resolution is taxing on your system. Unless you find older titles that can, you know, that can be rendered in high resolution like StarCraft 2 and Dota 2, not very demanding games that can be rendered at much higher resolution to give you much better image quality and a little bit extra detail within the, the frame when it's being downscaled to your native resolution is awesome because you know there are many titles that I want to revisit now like Half-Life 2 and play that in pretty much 5k uh, in order to get sort of, you know, to see all the detail, all the textures. Now you may be wondering what does AMD have in store
Store 4 to answer for DSR and they do with VSR or Virtual Super Resolution. So make sure to subscribe because of a video coming out on VSR versus DSR and comparing the 290X versus the GTX 980 and see if there's any image quality differences between the two technologies because they're practically doing the exact same thing. But make sure to subscribe because we have a video coming out on that shortly. Uh, and if you have any suggestions on games that we should try rendering at 5K resolution, uh, then leave them in the comments below. So uh, we hope to see you in the next one and thanks for watching.